Oh, no, she should get something on the go. She wants to hit the streets. She wants to be on her own. Also, I love birds either. I don't know what you have to have for me. I think it's dead romantic. I think it's dead weird. Yeah, it's dead romantic. 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 I knew I shall expect a full coop breakfast every morning when we wed. Well, you'll have to get it yourself. I've got a salon to run. Oh, you'll be giving that up, surely. Will you? Well, I haven't given it much thought, actually. Oh, you'll be too busy looking after me. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, will I? Hey, I was only teasing. You can keep on working if you want. As long as you don't come home late of an evening too tired. <sighs> So what are the plans today, then? Well, Ashley and me, we're going on a fat-finding mission to a charcuterie. Oh, no, you should be looking at the Art of Triumph and the Chantelisa. I mean, that visiting butcher's shops. Well, we happen to think it's very educational, don't we? Mm, well, it can count me out because I'm going shopping. Mm, and me. Audrey, can I ask you something? Uh-huh. I know Fred's asked his dad and everything, and you can tell me if I'm sticking my nose in where it's not wanted. But are you sure you want to marry Fred? Yes, of course I am. But you've turned him down before, so what's changed? Maybe I'm just a little older and a little wiser, hmm? Listen, Fred Elliott's a very charming and decent man. Yeah, he wants a wife to cook and clean for him. Oh, that was just his little joke. Yeah, a joke, but he means it. He'll expect his tea on the table when he gets in from work, because that's the kind of man he is. Mm. Well, actually, it's expect my tea on the table when I get home from work, because that's the kind of woman I am. Listen, I can wrap him round my little finger. Sure you can. Sure you won't want for anything. Uh, excuse him, why? What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. Uh, are you saying I'm a gold digger? That I am just after him for his money? No, oh, he's a... Uh very generous man and like you say he's very decent and funny in small doses and underneath all that bluster you know there's a very thoughtful and caring man what about sex <laughs> i beg your pardon madam well i hope you're looking forward to healthy sex life because i know he is uh, <laughs> i'm not a prude you know do you fancy him you know where do you love him? I'm very, very fond of him. Fond? Mm. Is that enough? Oh, I don't know. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing or not. We were in France. I first met Audrey, you know. Was it? We were on our way to a black pudding competition in Charleville. Oh, I mean, that matter of functions with Alf, but not to speak to. Hell, you ain't covered in another man's wife. No, 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 not at all, no. That's a bit of my flirting going on. <laughs> That's all right, then. You could say that I admired her from afar, any road. I remember one day, we were at a dinner with the mayor of Charleville. It were non-stop functions. Wonderful. And I was sitting next to her. And I noticed a bit of pork rillet on her blouse, so I brushed it off with my napkin. And she turned to me, smiled at me, and she said, um, you know, she talks, you're very sensitive for a butcher. And that were it. I've been under a spell ever since. <laughs> I hope you make each other very happy. I know she'll make me happy. Honestly. <laughs> what with the truth out about you and me, and now this, <sighs> I'm happier than I ever thought possible. Well, <laughs> Talking about really, we're here. Oh, they do try it. They may not know how to about beef, but when it comes to sausages and cold pressed meats, bye. But as it grieves me to say, the French are world beaters. I say world beaters. They trash some very nice sausages, though. Fascinating. 
Oh, well, now goes to waste, you know. They use every bit of beast. Pig ears, for instance, snout, even tail. It's all frowned on back home, but here they're happy to, don't they? All right, all right. You don't need to hit us with all the gory details. <sighs> so, where are we going now? I've had to go back to the hotel for a little bit. Yeah, well, uh, so what shall we do? Well, as it happens, I've got a little surprise <laughs> planned. Doesn't involve sampling the intimate parts of dead animals, huh? No. We'll see you two later. Where are we going? Uh, take my shopping bag, will you, Lover? Yeah. Thanks, Fred. <laughs> patience, patience. Everything comes to him who waits. How far now, then? We're here. Oh, jewelers? Well, what do we want with the jewelers? Oh. Hey. There's more carrots in here than in Bugs Bunny's pantry. Oh, Parlez-vous anglais? But of course. My fiancé and I are looking for an engagement ring. Very good, monsieur. Please, most be seated. <laughs> you can't buy a ring in here, Fred. It'll cost a fortune. Just you let me worry about that. You don't speak French at all? Oh, un petit pois. <laughs> no. Do you have something particular in mind? Style of ring, type of stone? Uh, well, I, I don't know, cos I've not really... Oh, I think a diamond, don't you? Perhaps I choose you a selection? Something contemporain, something more traditional? Oh, that would be very nice. It is also usual for couples looking for this ring. We offer you champagne. Oh, well, that would be very nice. Thank you. <laughs> Please excuse me one minute. Fred, you know, there's no need to rush into buying me a ring. There's every need. It's a symbol of our bond. You can't be officially engaged without a ring. <laughs> mm. But I don't know what to say, because they're all so beautiful. Try one on, go on. Well, I like that one. I like that one a lot. This is a very special piece. It has 22 carat white gold, and it features a two carat diamond. Oh, it's so beautiful, isn't it? May I? Oh, I can't accept this. If it's the money. No, no, it's not the money. But that ring were made for you, a finger. I'd say, wouldn't you? Absolutely. It's lovely, absolutely lovely, but as I say, I can't accept it. Well, would you like to look at some more? No, I'm just not in the mood, Fred. Not in the mood for buying diamonds? <laughs> you? Let's not waste any more of this gentleman's time. Thank you very much for the champagne. Come on. Look, I don't want a ring, Fred. Why not? Uh, look, I can't marry you. Why? Why are you saying this all of a sudden? Yeah, well, I, I just said yes on the spur of the moment, you know, and now I've had time to think. But you can't change your mind just like that. Oh, Fred, I'm sorry. I think you're a very sweet man, and I'm very, very fond of you. I know what's brought this on. It's me acting all flash. No! Dragging no. me off to a flash jewellers, ain't it? I do you think I'm trying to buy you, Audrey, but I'm not. I just want to get you what's best. Listen, Fred, I am very flattered that you want to buy me an expensive ring, and I'm really very flattered that you want to marry me, but... Don't do this to me, Audrey. I can't marry you, Fred. It just wouldn't be right. I've been floating on her for the past three days. Don't bring me crashing down, not like this. I just wish there was a, an easier way, you know, a, a kinder way. See, don't do out rash. I can understand you having second thoughts. Yeah, look, I've just changed my mind, Fred. It's as simple as that. So what's to say you won't change your mind no, back again? Please, now come on, please. Don't make this 
harder for me than it already is. I love you. I want us to spend the rest of us lives together. I just wish that I felt the same. But you don't. No, I don't. And has this only just dawned on you? Or did you say yes when you knew I didn't feel the same way as you? Did you say yes because you felt sorry for me? Oh, no. Well, what then? Was it a joke? Oh, no, no, Fred. I just said it without thinking. I mean, I just felt I couldn't say no. You mean I coerced you? Oh, no, come on, now stop this. Come on, Fred, please. Well, I'm sorry, Audrey. I'm just trying to understand why anyone could do out so cruel and so callous as what you're doing to me. Well... I didn't mean to be cruel, and I certainly never meant to hurt you. I'm very, very sorry. You knew what you were saying, and you knew what you felt. You were just messing with me. Have a guess who this is. Ashley. What happened to Clue? What is it? It's Max. Don't you think it captures the essence of beauty? I'll rock that picture on your head in a minute. You just give it get me up, that. Get up, Get up, it. You all right, Audrey? You look awful. <sighs> well, I feel awful. Mind you, not as awful as Fred. What do you mean? I've done the deed. The wedding's off. You will always be special to me. Oh, Fred, you know, I've had such a lovely time, and it's all because of you. We're right, aren't we? We feel right together. What did you say? I said yes. <laughs> <laughs>